Nolan Ackerman has been using sentiment analysis and related tools for several years. In fact, it was the main topic of his doctoral dissertation, which was completed several years ago and won Best Dissertation Award by the American Society for Engineering Management. I'm sitting down with Nolan today to talk to him about sentiment analysis and how it applies to the Evaluate project. I first asked him about the data preparation phase and the whole aspect of data collection. So Nolan tells us about how the data were collected through the teams and the Qualtrics sources. Well, as you can imagine, over the last 10 years, uh, there's been a variety of different uh, sources of data. And the two main areas that we focused on were the data that was collected from Qualtrics, which is an online uh, database of uh, uh, answers to survey questions, as well as individual Excel files that were stored um, out onto a team site that were used to collect the survey responses. And the work that had to be done was to take each one of those different individual files and to collapse them into a data format that we could use uh, regardless of how the, the, the data was structured so that we could use it in one format to feed the model. And we did that a variety of different ways. Uh, the first way that we, we did that was to download the data um, into individual Excel files, either from Qualtrics or downloaded directly from the team site. And as an example, I can pull up one particular file here. As you see, the way that the data was structured, um, we have the, the different questions or the different responses that go all the way to the right. Each one of the different columns is a different question um, that is um, stored in the system. And our goal was to basically pivot that data so we could get it into one format that we could use for our, our data model. And the way that we did that was with uh, just a collection of different macros that we were able to use um, to restructure and pivot the data. And so let me pull up this example here. We would, in the macro, enter some metadata related to the, the different survey responses that we received. So for each file, we would open the file up, look at the total number of responses, the date that the uh, survey was conducted, a file name structure, and then the actual questions that were posed as a part of the survey. And then by running the macro, we would take the individual data, apply this metadata, and would pivot that data into a format that provides one row for each question in the data source. This allowed us to, whether we had a survey that had 30 questions, 10 questions, five questions, to always have the same data structure for all of the different, um, different surveys that we received. And in this way, we could create one consolidated data source that we could feed into the next portion of the data, which was the cleansing piece. 